Hello and welcome to the IBM Agile Explorer course. In this video, we will be looking into getting a better understanding of the Agile values, principles and practices that help change culture and behaviours in the way people work. My name is Sasan and I will be your instructor throughout this course. This course will give you a taste of what Agile is all about and how it can change the way you work on the job or the way your family or teamwork. You'll explore Agile values, principles, practices and patterns and get primed to try some of them yourself with your family or another group or teams in which you are part of. We'll look into what Agile is, its values, principles and practices. Section 1 of this video will be an introduction to what Agile is. Agile embraces specific values, principles and practices that enable you as an individual, teams, groups and businesses to get better and to improve. To get better, teams need to change the way they work. They need to change the culture of how they work. Being agile is first about developing a mindset in using it. Mindset simply means a way of thinking or having a certain attitude about something. An agile mindset is described by five values and is defined by three principles. The act of migrating from being agile to doing agile is about integrating these values and principles into how work is done through practice. If you value something, you believe it to have worth and importance. Values are about believing and living by it every day. Agile values guide how teams relate to one another. The five IBM Agile values are trust, empathy, respect, openness and courage. Being vulnerable actually builds trust. The more open you are, the more people will trust you. Empathy is the ability to understand another person's perspective or circumstance, whether or not you agree with this person. You want to be putting yourself in the other person's shoes. Showing respect is about showing respect for everyone on the team. This allows a flow of diverse and different thinking ideas and solutions. Openness is the ability to have an open mind and you are willing to listen to other people's ideas whilst also freely expressing your ideas without fear or intimidation. Next we have courage. Share your ideas even though it might be different to that of what others think. Speak up when you see something isn't working. In section 2 of this video, we will explore the Agile Principles. Agile Principles guide how we do our work. The three Agile Principles are Clarity of Outcome, Iteration and Learning, and Self-Directed Teams. Clarity of outcome is where you understand the problem you are trying to solve before coming up with a solution. Determine the user outcome. The defined problem will then provide you with clarity about the user outcome you envision. Next, we have iteration and learning. This starts off by doing and trying small pieces of work. You then listen and learn from the feedback received and iterate by making adjustments based on the feedback received. Finally, we have self-directed teams, a small team constructed to do the work. This team is made up of selected individuals that have the right set of skills to do the work. Members are encouraged to be part of the discussion-making process. Section three of this video will explore the six Agile practices. The first is a social contract which sets clear expectations. Clear expectations build trust amongst team members. The second practice is mood marbles, to track the mood of the team every day. This approach outlines any patterns that occur which allows any issues to be highlighted which can then be addressed ahead of time. 
Next, we have the wall of work, a simple visual way to track progress. It is easy to see ownership of the tasks and easy to track progress to get things done and who is responsible for completing them. The fourth practice is stand-ups, which are short status meetings carried out daily. They answer questions such as what have you completed since the last stand-up, what will you complete by the next stand-up, and what are the blockers keeping you from successfully completing tasks. A retrospective meeting is a means for a team to have a look back at their performance to think and to identify ways in which they could do things better. Finally, we have showcase meetings where the team presents completed work to the stakeholders and other interested parties. This obtains feedback for moving forward and guides the team on what to prioritise, what to temporarily set aside and what to remove from the backlog. Design thinking techniques integrate with agile practices for a better user experience. A design thinking framework is very similar to the ideas of agile and integrates nicely as part of the agile practices. In this video, we have covered the importance of agile, described the five agile values, described the three agile principles, and described the six core agile practices. That is it for part one of this course. Ensure you watch parts two and three in order to best prepare yourself to complete the Agile Explorer course and earn your badge. That is it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Be sure to leave a like and comment, share and subscribe if you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.